Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream. This is the third day running now and we're back. Hopefully everything is looking all right. It's just all getting set up and the notification will be going out to the subscribers and to all of you who have got your notifications on. You'll be in here in no time. And um, it is currently 9.47 p.m. here. And um, usually I've been doing my live streams around 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So I thought I want to come on later and let's see is there some more people on here, some different people that maybe unfortunately can't catch the earlier streams because of time zones, you know. Some people are asleep, some people are busy. So yeah, hopefully everyone can come on here and then we can start getting into some questions and I can answer all of your questions. Do feel free to put any question, anything, feel free to ask it away in the chat over there. Right. That's good. Sorry if the camera quality is not too good because it is on my laptop. This laptop's good, you know, it's been going for a few years, but it's a little bit old. Don't know if I give it a one right now. Mm. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit bad. Soon, I should be able to uh, do the live streams on my phone. But for some reason, it's not working yet. Hopefully, that will get sorted out. The weird thing is you can only live stream on your phone when you've got a 1,000 subscribers. I've reached a 1,000 subscribers like a month ago, but it takes time before it actually sends your phone and says, right, this channel is enabled to do live streams on the phone. So hopefully, that happens soon. Then it'll be clear and really good. Right. So how are you doing? Where are you watching from? What's the weather like? What time is it? Pop it in the chat. Right, I should probably share out the link. Um, I should probably share out that I am live on Facebook and Twitter just to let everyone know. Subscription. See, the thing is, it hasn't sent. Hello, Avanesh. What's going on, Avanesh De Silva? How are you doing, Avanesh? Yep, I'm back again. Three days in a row, I did uh, keep to it, and hopefully the day after tomorrow the vlog should start. Tomorrow I am going to try and record some vlogs of what I eat in a day. You know, really eye healthy meals and eye healthy foods to help everyone out. Right, let's just go to Facebook. Uh, log out there. I'm gonna log into the other one. Uh, log in here. Log in. How is everyone doing? How's your day been? What have you been up to? How is everyone doing? just sharing out the link on Facebook live now feel free to ask anything on the live chat and just do that on Twitter just so no one misses these the worst thing is if someone messages me and says oh I didn't know you were live so yeah let's copy and paste this bear with me but do put your questions in the chat and I will get to them work from home mostly what job do you do, if you don't mind me asking? What job do you do? I would love to work from home, to be honest. <laughs> I would love to work from home. 
Although I do like the outside as well, then I do like my home. But yeah, but then you could work from home and then still go out and do exercising and things like that, couldn't you? Then at home, are you self-employed? So you're, are you are you you own are you your own boss? That's got research and DEV in telecom. Okay, that might be quite fun actually. Or do you still have to keep the times? You see, do you still have to wake up early? Right, Facebook, that's posted on Twitter, that's posted on hopefully the chat numbers and everyone should start coming in now as everyone knows we are live. Right, let's get the Wi Fi off on my phone so it doesn't slow anything down. Right, there we go. But I've got really good Wi Fi now. I used to have terrible Wi Fi, but a few people can be on it at once and it seems all right. The stream was really good the other day. Right, okay. Hello, Anant. Welcome to the stream, Anant. Can you tell me the time take to cure eye flow? So there's not a one fix all full cure. However, in terms of an easing in some of the floaters and avoiding any more coming, if you're doing everything properly, I've got the PDFs in the description below. I've finally done them. We have got the overall diet PDF and we also have the vitamins and mineral PDF down below. But I'll just tell you now on here i need to do a few more pdfs about blue light blocking glasses and things so let's say we're doing this now blue light blocking filters on all digital devices blue light blocking glasses now that's a preventative now we're gonna have a less likely chance of developing more floaters now that's one thing but there's a lot more things we need to do diet healthy keto diet so you want to keep the sugar low you want to keep the carbs low you want to be eating lots of salmon, sardines, fish, oysters, cod liver oil. You'll want to do sort of more breakfast, lunch, dinner. Avoid the snacking. And if you are going to snack, do it with nuts and make sure it's a higher fat meal, healthy fats. But the key is getting all the supplements in. Vitamin A, zinc. We've got magnesium is very important for the blood. But if I was to tell you four sort of things to focus on, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E and zinc, I would say are the most important. Now, if you haven't done fasting before, don't just jump right into it. If you haven't done detoxing before, don't just jump into it. But if you have done, then I would recommend that doing detoxes where uh, three days, you just have waters, teas, juices. You know, we've got canned pineapple and orange help to cure eye floaters. See, this is the thing. Not if you're eating a junk diet and you're eating a rubbish diet. This is the worst thing. There's people just think, right, one thing can do it. It has to be a complete change. As of now, we don't have a medicine. We don't have a non-invasive surgery, but what we do have is diet and lifestyle, which can help. But it has to be a complete change. You know, you've got to clear out your body of the rubbish and the junk and put in healthful things. And if you're in the Facebook groups, you will see the success stories. It may not be easy, but once you get into it, it's quite nice, actually. If you have the access to the food, I do understand not everyone has the access to the food but if you have access to fish eat lots of fish if you can cut out the sugars cut out the sugars it may be hard but you've got to get used to it and see how it, how, how you go do one week two week three weeks you know see how you're feeling after three weeks that's the thing no one can ever fully say this works this doesn't work until they try it the best thing is experimenting and trying these things. Mm, 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 
yeah so i've got the pdfs down below it's funny i can't see the description here you know that's what they should do on the live stream they should allow me to see the description i have to go to another tab i have been taking medicines and took to some doctors but it's not worth it what medicine have you been taking what medicines have you been taking and um yeah what i'd say is check them pdfs down below definitely and i've done like the supplements list i've actually no i've left the supplements empty i need to put links to supplements you can buy however i've got the foods on there all the foods that you can eat with them vitamins i always suggest food if you can't get the food then you have to get a supplement but always go to the food you know big food list i've got it all on the pdf but the key thing is it's, I would say really allowing your body to actually work on itself. What I do a lot of is, um, you know, a lot of juices, a lot of berries with the supplement, you know. So have you have some days like where you target things. Like one day you're just doing more of antioxidants. The next day you're doing more vitamin A, vitamin C, you know, really target each day. I will be doing vlogs, by the way, so this will make it easier for you because I know people prefer to see things. So I will be doing the vlogs. That is on my note board over there. Do the vlogs, record the vlogs so I can show you breakfast, lunch, dinner, a week of eating, all the different meals and that. And then I might even do a, a detox week and a fasting week as well. And um, if people want to try it, they can it's their choice you know and it may work it may not work but the best thing is you've got to try it the positive is knowing that not even that's just worked for me just the number that it's worked for i would say 300 400 people and probably more throughout the world have success stories whether that's facebook twitter you can find them anywhere and then you can even message them people and talk to them that's the thing if you're in a facebook group you can talk back and forth on comments message them ask what they have done but mainly you'll find that it's either a keto diet or a carnivore diet or like some sort of detox diet but that avoids all of these uh, processed foods and all chemicals and things like that and also preventative measures we have to be on these computers we have to be on these laptops so we need these blue light blocking glasses and the uh, filter and they get a bit dirty sometimes you have to keep cleaning them yes any other questions any questions at all do feel free to uh ask i am a vegetarian person so apart from fresh and other things what other natural things can i eat right so are you sort of strict vegetarian like that's what you have to do are you strict vegetarian so for you i would say carrots broccoli cauliflower you know keep your carbohydrates low though like if you're having potatoes try and have less of them because you don't want too many because that shoots up insulin shoots up blood sugar and that's not good you want to keep your blood sugar sort of low and your insulin low because high glucose causes things to swell in the eye and then high insulin causes inflammation so it's, it's a catastrophic it's very very dangerous you know always if you're eating carbohydrates your sugars go up insulin goes up back down insulin back up you know, it causes a lot of inflammation throughout the body so for the vegetarian i say lots of carrots um broccoli cauliflower cabbage things like that you want to focus on berries blueberries raspberries See, the thing is, vegetarian, you eat eggs, right? You can eat lots of eggs. That's how you can get your vitamin A. Oh, yes, green tea is good. Definitely green teas, lemon teas. Hello and welcome to Giraj. Only things which help to make floaters less black and make them more transparent were unitropic drops is that the um brand name unitropic drops are they the ones that dilate your eyes slightly 
are they the ones that dilate the eye? I think they might be, I'm not too sure. Unitropic. So where is everyone watching from? Where are you all watching from? And what time is it? Here it is currently 10.02 p.m. Here, 2.31 at night. Wow, you're up quite late. <laughs> You're up late, Anand. I am from Slovakia. Wow. Gerard Bukran. I haven't heard that name before. Gerard Bukran, Slovakian. Nice to meet you. That's good. It's amazing. We've got a whole um, worldwide of viewers. Welcome, Emmanuel Cavelli. Emmanuel is back in here now. We need to find a cure. That's what we are working on. The VDM research project. This is like sort of the frontline movement now. I know it's in its development stages, but trust me on this. One year, two year, three year, four year, five years. We are heading in the right direction. We've got Dr. Jerry Seabag on board. Right. He's a specialist in the vitreous. And then just to think. As the movement grows, there'll be other eye doctors that will become on board. And we're, we can have trials with different things, you know. This vitamin, this mineral, you know, trials. And then there's also research to try and maybe do a non-invasive where we can get some sort of medicine or a liquid to get into the vitreous. Because I look forward to every video of your thank you. That means a lot, Anand. Thank you very much. Thank you. I try my best. I'm only sharing what has worked for me and a lot of other people. I can't promise. I can't promise that it worked for you. But what I say is give it a go. Give it a try. Look, it's natural foods. We're, we're not going to get harm from that, are we? Natural foods. It's natural diet. And it's not easy for everyone. Not everyone can get this food. Not everyone can get this vegetable. Not everyone can buy these. I understand that. But with whatever your situation is, try and do the best. Yes, I hope in five years there will be some kind of a solution. There has to be. You know, we're in 2020 now. And all of the research groups that have been out there in charities, all they have done is take money. Right. And they haven't done anything. They haven't done any research. The only good proper research that is out there at the moment is the pineapple study that is the only closest thing we have to good research and that was using pineapples because of the enzyme papin now there's not been a follow-up of that hopefully there will be a follow-up and everything's money you know to do these trials it's money this money that so uh hopefully with the vdm research project you know, growing numbers and then hopefully with donations and everything, it goes to research and it goes to the right research. And I just want to say it is trusted. Like the best thing about the VDM research project is we are all sufferers. So we ain't messing around. We want a solution. Like we make no money at all. That, that's why it's a non profit organization. So it's donation based. Not yet. Not yet. There's no donations yet. But when donations open up, you know, maybe in a few months time, the donations will go straight to Dr. Jerry Seabag's research foundation. And then from there, the research can start taking place because you've got to get a team together. and all. I've got a lot of ideas. So hopefully I'll be able to, you know, put my input into the research ideas and the plans. Be good to actually lead one, you know. Things like that, you know, try different things out. Have Then you'll need people in for experiments, you know, sort of taking this medicine, taking this vitamin. Things with mobile phones, you know, ones that use the mobile phones less, ones that use it more. Have the eyes change. Even sleep, you know, lack of sleep, tiredness, dry eyes, you know, all these links. There's, there's so much, there's so much we can do. It's very interesting. 
But at least we've got something now. Before, like, we were all lost. Everyone's lost. Now, sort of, we've got a vision, we've got a focus, so we can put all our time and effort into that and make it work. Any success story will be coming from your side on YouTube. Yes, definitely. I'll always keep you updated. Any success story will be coming from your side on YouTube. Yes, but um, the video testimonials, do send your video testimonials in. I should have put that link in the description, but I haven't. Do send your video testimonial in to the VDM Research Project. And that is hopefully going to be on a new YouTube channel. So that will sort of be the VDM team. I'm not too sure what's happening with that yet. But the plan is to get a VDM Research YouTube channel. Sort of about research projects, you know, meeting the team, understanding who we are. Um, more about Dr. Jerry Seabag. I think that would be a very good idea. That is what's needed. I don't know who will be running that, actually. Any plans to come to India? Well, I would love to. That's something that I've always wanted to do. I've got many, many Indian friends and I love cricket. But because of coronavirus and COVID-19, it doesn't look like I'll be doing that anytime soon. And I'm missing the IPL. I love watching the Indian Premier League. But that's not on now. They've said they're suspending it to the 15th of April. But I have a bad feeling that it won't happen because there'll be another lockdown, another lockdown. This, this this whole coronavirus probably won't be sorted out until maybe September, maybe November. Not going to be a good 2020. But yeah, I love India. Yeah. I haven't been there, but from my friends, you know, sharing their stories and being around a lot of Indian people, I do like the uh, Indian culture and everything and the food as well, you know. So I do have plans one day to come to India. Jiraj says... The problem with laser YAG vitriolysis is that doctor often can't see flows. Exactly. Exactly. As said, probably they are too small and close to the retina. Otherwise, everybody would do that. That's what I'm trying to tell to people. So many people say, oh, look, I'm going to do laser surgery. Well, they can't see it. A lot of the time, what they ask you to do is they light up your eyes, right? Sorry, they light up the wall. And like they have your eyes in this, they light up the wall. And they get you to draw out either on paper or on an EFET your actual floaters and then he will go with the laser and hope that he's hitting the right ones they can see the black ones but they can't see the transparent ones and they also can't see the ones that are right near the retina and it can be dangerous as well them lasers are high powered you know if they hit the retina whoo, that tissue is ruined the retina is tissue and then the cells of the retina are the cells you know cells aren't when cells are exposed to radiation or Anything that is high intensity like that, they will sort of die. Whether it's slowly or fast cells, they will die, especially photoreceptor cells. The photoreceptor cells always get targeted. And then you've got vitrectomy. That's like the surgery. If someone wants a total cure for, for eye floaters, it's vitrectomy. But do I recommend it? No. Would I do it? No. Too invasive, too dangerous, causes a whole list of problems in the future. You would be better off living with floaters than having all of the other conditions which are caused by a vitrectomy. So hopefully we can figure out something natural, something natural. Oh yeah, I was going to get that link, wasn't I? Um, VD. Where is that link again? Research. Bear with me one minute. I don't know where that link's gone. Get on my phone.
The good thing about Androids is they have the blue light filter. That's quite a good thing. I don't know if you, um, iPhones have it yet, but I know the Androids have the blue light filter. Blue light filter. And always turn your brightness down. I always have my brightness down, especially at like night time. I always have it like down there. Why is that link not hyperlinked? Is it not a public link? You can't find it, but it seems you don't have too much serious photos, otherwise, you would consider even. Power plans for tricks me. Oh no, no, mine, mine are bad. Oh yeah, mine are bad, but I still wouldn't do it. Even though they're bad, I still wouldn't do it. I maybe not worse than yours. I don't know, but I would say they are. They are quite bad. But what I do say is, it does get easier. See, see, with me is if if it's bright, then yeah, I've got a whole span of them. It depends what what type do you have, Gerard? What type of floaters do you have? Because I do understand there are some people that have huge, big, big black dots. And it is very annoying to ignore. Some people do have really bad ones. Let me just post the link. One minute. Let me just post the link from my phone. Yeah, so I have like um, I have six transparent wormy type ones. I have lots of little black strands, but then black strands have gone less black now. I've got a whole load. I've probably got about twenty five total across both eyes. Did that link go? I don't think that link's posting properly. I don't know why? Um. Hello, how is it going, Ross? It's been a long time. How are you doing, Ross? How are you keeping? How is everything going? Anant says, what is your daily routine in the food you intake through the whole day? Anant, I will do a video on that. I'll do a whole week, seven days of a vlog. But just to tell you here, basically in the morning, I have some blueberries, raspberries, about 25 grams of each, about 50 grams of a, a fruit meal. Then I will usually do eggs. My lover has a, uh, a few boiled eggs, scrambled eggs. Then I may have a lunch or a little snack because that keeps me going to about 12 o'clock, 2 p.m. If I'm working out, then I have like uh, two snack bars, but they're high in fibre, sort of a nut bars. So like peanuts, cashews, almonds, walnuts, have some of them. Evening, I always have like uh, liver, kidneys. This is a, like lamb's liver, lamb's kidney with some broccoli and some cauliflower. And if I'm not having that, I have salmon, mackerel, sardines, oysters. So I'm eating fish. I'm eating a bigger load of fish. I'm always eating fish, always eating a lot of fish, always eating a lot of eggs, a lot of organ meats. And then I have more days where I eat more vegetables, so more broccoli, cauliflower. I'm all right, mate. Kofi, uh -huh. that's good, that's good. At least you're well, at least you're well. You know, no coronavirus, no COVID-19. We're getting by. 
Oh, dear. But yeah, lots more videos to come. And I'm taking it seriously. I'm going to get really good videos, you know, all the information, everything. I'm going to do like a whole week where I vlog what I eat. But then I want to do a sort of step by step guide, sort of how to ease flowers. So where I share coping methods, where I share things that we can do to get our eyes even better, like vitamins, minerals, like show you everything. Sort of like a, I don't know, is it called a course or like a step by step or something? Water, just water, nothing else. Water keeps it cool in this. Keeping hydrated is another thing. Plenty of water. Do you know per day I must have um how much water do I drink a day? 2.5 litres maybe, three three litres, something like that, I think. Always there, never anything less. It's always like 2.5 or more. But you don't want to go crazy. You don't want to go too crazy. There's some people that say drink four litres of water. Maybe I'm talking loads of nonsense now. <sighs> let, let me let me figure out. We're talking in litres, aren't we? Right? We're talking in litres. How? We'll get confused. It's metric and imperial. <laughs> How much water do people recommend? I have about 2.5 litres. Be perceived good food. They recommend 1.5 litres. What does the NHS recommend? The NHS recommends... one point two liters or one point nine liters okay that's good make sure you're getting your two liters of water a day that's what i would say but i always like to do 2.5 liters and an electrolyte powder is pretty good at this being inside etc is kill me really i know i can i know what you mean like it's good being inside but then you want to get outside you know you know, visit places you know seaside beaches countryside Especially you like trains, you want to go to train stations and explore. And also, I recently got a car as well. And uh, yeah, I haven't been really able to do much with that. I only go to the shops and that, but I haven't been able to travel anywhere, visit anywhere, because everything's closed. <laughs> I remember a few months ago on a live stream, I think I asked you about how do your eye floaters affect when you drive. I think you said you don't notice them. And that is true. You're so focused on what's way ahead, you don't really notice them. Unless it gets quite bright, and then you may see one sort of on the horizon or on the side, but you don't really notice them, do you? Driving is quite a good way of actually taking your mind off it. It's weird. Didn't think it would be. But uh, you don't really notice it when you're driving. I need to get making a lot more videos. We've got time on our hands now. Yeah, tomorrow I'll do a vlog. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yep. Now, is there any other questions that I need? To, I, sh I should answer? Is there anything you want to ask me? Remember, always feel free to message me on Facebook at, or Instagram. Those two I will reply on. My other ones, I can't promise that I reply because I don't really go on there too much. And I don't know, the messages aren't the best on there. I just find I like Facebook and Instagram, you know, messages, boom, 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 like that. It's better. <laughs> Probably makes no sense, but I do find that better. My floaters is that they are not only observable in field vision, but they are absolutely obstructing vision and eyes always trying to focus on them like to be a half blind um 
it depends you see i have different days if all my transparent and no, sorry if all my little black strands sort of move across and they're all in front then it feels like there's a spider web or a big load coming over all the time but usually what happens is my strands will come across and then they drop down and it's only one big transparent and the big black dot that's always sort of in the middle so i wouldn't say they always annoy me like me sitting here now if i sort of go up yeah i see a few but it's low light like they don't annoy me too much a little bit but not not too much tell me do you notice your floaters while driving i really don't same no don't notice them at all sometimes i just drive somewhere it's how i end up with such diverse train videos i just drive for 100 miles and see where i end up <laughs> that sounds good that's what I've got to get to in, you know. I haven't even drove that far, really. <laughs> Just drove in the local area. I want to do that. I actually haven't drove on a motorway yet. I still haven't drove on a motorway. No, I've only drove on the uh, A roads. Yeah, haven't drove on a motorway yet. That's something that I've got to do. Got to drive on a motorway. Shouldn't be that different to a dual carriageway. Mm, slight bit different, maybe. Good to be driving. The first uh, time when I drove on my own was actually weird like no driving instructor there no driving instructor <laughs> it's good you know it's good i had a ford fiesta sort of courtesy car for a week ford fiesta wasn't too bad that was a 2004 but the one that i've bought is a renault clio 2014 it's quite good the renault clio i like it quite good what car do you drive, Ross? It's mad. We've been on to cricket. Now we're on to cars. <laughs> but if there's any eye questions, I will answer them straight away. Some people are like, don't go off topic. Yeah, it's quite interesting. The render thing's all electric like that. I like that feature where you can turn on the lights at night and that. But yeah, you sort of stick that in and it's a push start. It's quite good, actually. Recently, I've been travelling to London on the M1 and wandering around. I hardly, I hardly noticed them. That isn't bad. See, that's good. That's see, you're not noticing them. It's weird. What I don't notice them as well. It's so strange. But what I do hate is after images. You know, I hate the big glare. I can't stand glare. You know. And a few um, nights ago, I was driving on the country roads. Oh. People just don't turn down their full beam, do they? You know what I mean? It's, it's a joke. It's like, I've only been driving for like a week, yeah? And even I know how to just turn down my full beam. Ding, 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 ding. It's a little flicker. On the on the Ford, it was a ping back. But on the clear, it's a little flicker. Easy. Just turn your full beam down. Don't dazzle me. Yeah, it's bad enough anyone getting dazzled, yeah? But me, with these light sensitive eyes. Oh, <laughs> I'm just sort of driving like that. I'm sort of looking to the side, but looking down, like trying to ignore it. Ugh, try it down. <laughs> oh dear. My first car was a Clio 56 Reg. 56 Reg. Right, that's not bad. So, 56. What's that, June? 2006 isn't it i think that's how it works no that's not how they work is it i think it's i know it's 2006 but the five sort of it all gets a bit weird on some of the old number plates it's much better you know the 09 010 you know 14 15 16 17 18 19 i prefer it like that <laughs> ah i'm i am actually wondering if your floaters are not annoying you too much that you make such effort and focus on the theme my floaters are clusters of dots and bacteria things oh no i have them as well i have a lot of strands like 
if I go in, if I go into a room, right, with a white wall or, or normal day to day life, oh, it's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. But I'm talking about this low light. It's not that bad. You know what I mean? It is. It is pretty bad. I would say I have a very bad case of them. But then you can't see throughout my eyes. I can't see out for your eyes. But what I say is if I have big, bright light and look at a white wall, it's it's like a mass of them. We've got six big transparent ones which look bobbly and like organisms. Then we've got black little strands, all black little strands. Then we've got ones that whirl around. It's like crazy. It is, it is a crazy field. I need to do sort of like an e-fit. I need to do a white thing and I'll show you how all mine look. But I can tell you that my small little black dots have completely gone. The small black dots have completely gone. Six transparent, still exactly the same. But the black strands used to be really jet black but over two and a half years of having the eye flows they've gone gray now and they sort of fizzled out a bit can you see flows even in current condition um one minute let me sweep up yes but very mildly very mildly i can only see sort of that black dot and that little strand there i sweep up again let me take these off as well Yes, I can see the little black strands, but not as bad in the day. Like at this time now, it's not that bad at all. But if I look at my white door, then I can see a lot more because it exposes a lot more. Then they sort of drop down like that. I have I have some that stay in the centre and just go like that, up, down. Then I have other ones that are sort of at the side here, like little webs. And they move in and move out and they sort of bind together. It's so hard describing them, isn't it? <laughs> But you understand. We understand. <laughs> People think, what is this nut doing? <laughs> what is CI Pro? What is that, um, Mike? Welcome to the stream, Mike. What is CI Pro? Cipro? Kipro? What's that? Is it a medicine? Do you know what that is? Cipro. Cipro. Oh, Cipro is. Antibiotic. Hmm. You you know you're not the first person to actually say an antibiotic has caused them, because I had uh well I've had a few message me, right, who have had, di um, what's it called? Right, I can't think of the name. Something in the intestines with like a bacterial overgrowth. They took antibiotics and then they developed eye floaters within two, three weeks. But no one tells you about that. No doctors or anyone tells you about that link. See what um see see this is what I see, this is where I say to people that don't understand this, talk to people. See look, see Mike, you know, you've had the same experience. So they tell you, this is what they tell you now. They will say to you that antibiotics can't affect the vitreous. Oh, really? 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 <laughs> well, people aren't crazy. I'm not crazy. You're not crazy. We know, we know our phloxacin. Uh, so I'm keeping a little notepad. A notebook of people that message me just just for my own thing. You know, I mean, I won't share it or anything. Just keep it for myself. And then just I'm just trying to do a little tally. Yeah. Cipro floxacin. It's crazy. Very interesting that, you know. Very interesting. Hmm. See, why, why does it do it? I believe it's because of inflammation, probably. That's why I think it's probably because of inflammation. Hmm. Sort of my theory on why Cipro or any other antibiotic will give you flowers. Here's my theory. But who am I? Eh? Who am I? Just some guy that does research. Who am I? Right. But anyway, my uh, theory on why antibiotics give it firstly they destroy your digestive enzymes and your gut flora so when you're having your zinc your vitamin a your vitamin c your vitamins and your minerals for your body and for your eyes 
they're not being absorbed. So now you're becoming deficient in minerals. Now you're becoming deficient in vitamins. That's the one reason. The second reason is when you're putting all these antibiotics in there, they cause a lot of inflammation and swelling. And then that causes free radicals, which causes more inflammation. And then that causes damage to your whole body. And especially if that's all, it's all going around your blood, right? It's all going around your blood. And it could sit in the eye and cause trouble with the blood vessels as well. That's just my theory. But that's probably why. I might make a video on that, you know. I might make a video on that. So that's four people now. Four people have had trouble with antibiotics. But I need to ask the other three people on Facebook. I need to ask the other three on Facebook what antibiotic they used. Imagine it was the same one. Imagine it was the same one. I got it from a UTI. You see what I mean? That's so annoying. That's really... And so you know, look, you basically know you you had clear vision. You had nothing wrong with you. You have took these uh, antibiotics. Then you've got floaters. No one's going to tell you any different. And don't let anyone tell you any different because you know your own body. You know your own body. It's a knock-on effect, domino effect. Like with me, I eat a ton of sugar, I eat Coca-Cola, I eat fizzy drinks, I have high sugar levels, I have high insulin. Guess what? Floaters, floaters, floaters. I cut all of that out. Now each month, I don't get that many floaters. I may get one here or there before I begin. Two, five, ten. Dry eyes, blurred vision, all of that sort of stuff, right? That all goes away. It's crazy, though, that that you are in control of your body, right? Everyone out here now. Now, a lot of people have sense, right? A lot of people have sense and understand things. But there are some people that want to come on and say, vitamins don't affect things. Diet doesn't affect things. Oh, what what you eat doesn't affect it. Oh, it's just on its own. It's just all locked away up there. It's just it's craziness. Dude, it's ruined my life. I know, I know, I know. How old are you? How old are you? Can't go anywhere without sunglasses. How old are you, Mike? I unfortunately got them at 18. I was 18 and a half when I got um, the floaters. And I'm 21 now. So that's three years of having them. 41. See, that's annoying. You, you're you lucky. <laughs> you're lucky. You had a good... Uh, compared to me, <laughs> you had a good few years without them. Do you know what's going to be interesting now, right, Mike? Uh, you know what you should do? You should have it like a diary. Keep a timeline. Try and like get loads of bright light, look at a white wall, and if you can, count. Count how many you have. Oh no, you got them when you're 33. Ah, right, I thought you just got them. But yeah, how worse have they got? How worse have they got? See, that's annoying. It's really annoying that. Hmm. See, and this is another thing, right? I always find that you know, people like, um, celiacs celiacs and people with ibs you know with digestive issues are the highest sort of for my own research and we can use it in the future hopefully but yeah how many people have eye floaters and a lot of them have ibs ibd crohn's celiac so doesn't it just show you there right those same people are all have really low vitamins and minerals do you know so why don't we do the opposite why don't we give them high zinc, high magnesium, high vitamin C, high vitamin E, high vitamin A? Just let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. You can even do tests, right? Look, look down the end of your street at night time. Yeah. Same dark sky, same dark night. Just look at something. Like have a fixed point. Right. And just change your diet around, change your foods around. And then just cover this eye, cover that eye. And You'll just notice the difference. Like it's, it's right, right in front of you. <laughs> that um, things can change, but with eye floaters, it is harder. Sadly, in terms of retina and macula, we can get vitamins straight there. With the vitreous, it get into the high alloyed canal and get near the vitreous, sort of the inner parts. I got first floaters when I was six. Long time, Gerard. That is a very, very long time. So, does that mean you are 46? 
Goodness me, that's terrible. Yeah. Does that mean you are 46 or 47? Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you've had them um, a very, very long time. Wow. It's a very long time to have them. You can remove the eye liquid. Yes. Sort of people do that in a vitrectomy. But I don't really recommend that. I don't really recommend a vitrectomy because you know what happens, right? People remove the vitreous fluid, then they get the new fluid in. But guess what? They have a lot of people say they have wavy vision after. Some people even have retinal detachments, cloudy vision, cataracts. It can actually backfire. I'm in all the groups on Facebook and there's a lot of negative stories about the surgery. You may find a few positive, but there's a lot of negative. See, that's what's interesting. Do you know when you look at like what causes eye flows, right? You know, when you actually look at what causes eye flows, you've got a large amount that have had LASIK surgery for their eyesight. So that's like the lasers, L-I-S-I-K, so LASIK surgery. They all seem to get eye flows after that. You've got your situation, Mike, where they have antibiotics. Then you've got another portion who like have digestive issues. There's a lot of, you know, links here. You've got the younger people that are staring at their phones all day and eating high sugar and high carbs and a ton of chemicals in the foods, preservatives, and I could list a load of horrible ingredients, toxic ingredients. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, the drug that is for, totally off topic, the drug that they're using for coronavirus, the drug that they're using for coronavirus, chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, I would not go near that. I would not go near that at all because it actually kills off photoreceptor cells. And you can do research on this. You can go to PE, uh, PubMed. You can go to NCIB. You can actually look at real research, real science on this. You can even search it up. Just put in chloroquine retina, chloroquine negative side effects. Right. Just, just look it up. It's right out there. You can even see it. Are you staying in? Yes, I am staying in. I'm sort of only going out uh, maybe now and again. Sort of like today, I haven't been out at all. The other day, I went out for some shopping. I did a jog in the evening, but I've been doing a lot of home workouts, you know, just staying at home. Uh, Mike, uh, where are you from? I have seen you on the YouTube comments, but I don't know if I've talked to you on Instagram or Facebook. Gerard, are you on Instagram or Facebook? I know Ross is. Ah. You're from America. Which part of the USA are you from, if you don't mind me asking? Which part of America are you from? It's not easy to stay healthy in America, is it? <laughs> I um, have been to America once, uh, Los Angeles, from March the 20th, 2018, to 4th of April, 2018. I had two weeks there. It was a really good holiday, but it was so, so hard to find healthy food the healthy food super expensive everything is just fast food and fries and deep fat fried and tons of cheese and tons of sodium and oh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a mess and like i couldn't find gluten-free things i tried to find gluten-free i couldn't find gluten-free everywhere anywhere <laughs> alaska oh you're lucky alaska's very nice i haven't been there i want to go there but from what i've seen you know, I watch Ice Road Truckers. We get a program over here. That sh obviously, it's an American program, but they show it over here. Ice Road Truckers, and I see all Alaska. Wow, you have some mad um, storms in that. And um, what's the other program that I watch? Uh, off Road Alaska, where they show, like, the people that live off-grid. And they live in the sort of, like, the shacks, the sheds, you know, little houses. And they have generators and that, and they have to go hunting for food. Really, really interesting place, Alaska. Oh, the food here is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to visit America, you know. That's what I want to do. I want to save up and do that. I want to do a lot of traveling. I want to do a road trip, actually. A road trip across America would be good. So many things to do. So many things to do. That's the thing, like, you know, there's still so much you can do. Still so much, you know, obviously when this coronavirus and COVID's out of the way, don't let eye floaters or any eye condition get you down. I am from an island in AK. 
Right. In US, there is one doctor performing vitrectomy for eye flowers. I saw several searches on YouTube together with patients' testimonials. See, obviously, there is going to obviously going to be people that will have a lucky success story. However, if there's a doctor and he has a YouTube channel, he's only going to post success stories and positive. Talk, try, but well, it's impossible. Or no, it might not be impossible, but try and talk to those people that, let's say, 100. Talk to those people two months after, five months after, ten months after. You know, in the moment, everyone can be happy. It's it's what happens down the line. That's what that's what you find. Like on this channel, you've seen the comment section. Luckily, thankfully, most of it's positive. But even the negative stuff, I just leave it up there. You know. People that disagree with me, freedom of speech. You can comment and then people can comment to them and have a little back and forth and then I just leave it there. I may engage in a little bit of it. Maybe I maybe like reply and give my counter argument. They reply, counter argument. Then I'm done. It's childish. You know what I mean? And I've got another channel, which um, I get a lot more sort of messages and that about that one. Anything to do with health and home remedies and natural remedies. You're always going to get targeted because people's mindset is sort of just doctor, medicine. They, they just think that's the only way. Most of the medicines anyway. If you take out the rubbish that's in the medicine, like 70% of it is probably from a vitamin or a mineral or probably from a plant in the ground. Most of the time you just look at it and go, oh, yeah. Wow, this medicine is basically zinc and magnesium. Why am I going to have the rest of the junk? Why don't I just go straight to a food that has magnesium or zinc? Oh, we're nearly getting at one hour. Oh, we're nearly actually, we're 10.45 at night. Right, I'll probably be um, getting off here soon. But I just want to say to everyone that has watched this live stream, thank you all. Probably be getting off here. Is there any last questions? I won't go just yet. Any questions you want to ask me, it could be three questions, four, it could be, you could write 10 if you want. <laughs> Put some questions in the chat here and I will answer them before I go. Yes, so uh, the plan is, obviously, tomorrow I'm going to do uh, the vlogs. I'm going to start doing vlogs, so I'm going to show my breakfast, lunch, dinner, sort of show you what I do day to day, you know, for sort of the eyes and that. Does alcohol affect flowers? Mm, if you're drinking it every day, I would say so, just because of the fructose and sort of blood sugar levels, but not not. Not drastically. I, I wouldn't say drastically. If you're having it once a week or two times a week, it shouldn't really. It shouldn't. It shouldn't do much. What is the next step to move forward with our issue? I would say VDM research. You know, that's what we got to do. We got to focus on the VDM research for now. Let's just eat a healthy diet. Let's do the fasting. Let's do the remedies and all of what I've shared on my previous videos. And my videos to come that should can't promise anything should help you and if it if it doesn't get rid of any flows then it should prevent any more from coming because you're going to be reducing a lot of inflammation so that won't be pushing on the vitreous you're going to be having less blue light into your eyes this is what i said to everyone oh my gosh this, this is another thing that really annoys me when people come back to me and say oh i'm not going to do this diet anymore i'm not going to do this lifestyle anymore and i say what are you going to eat and what are you going to drink? Oh, I'm going to go back to my old ways. Tons of chocolate cake. Oh, 
McDonald's, fast food, burgers. And, I, and then I say to them in a polite way, doing that will only make your eye flutters worse. And even if you don't believe it will make your eye flutters worse, it will increase your risk of heart disease, diabetes, age-related macular degeneration, retina problems, your eyesight will probably go. Yeah, funny, you know, when you think like that. So what I say to people is, everything that I share on here is to help you with eye flutters. But not only is it helping you with that, it's helping you with everything in the eye. Like, there's there's foods on this diet and vitamins that are just powerful for your eye and your whole body, your heart, your lungs and everything. It's sort of a natural diet. You know, like a keto diet is our natural diet. If we look back at our ancestors, that's what they were eating. We, especially um, anyway, even America, because America going back are actually Irish and British. You know, you go back to that sort of plains. A lot of European countries are the same as well. Do you know, with a higher meat diet, you know, a lot of natural meats and things. We weren't really carbs. We didn't really have carbs. We didn't really have sugar. So our bodies don't process it as well. Fats, healthy fats, processes it great. Protein processes it great. But yeah, there's a lot of trouble with glucose levels, insulin levels. People weren't eating as frequently. I believe in seasonal dieting, seasonal eating. Basically, whatever body you have, think what it would naturally be doing, not what we're doing in 2020. Your body is in 2020 as you, right? But your inside isn't. All your insides, your organs, your processes are all back 200, 300 years ago. <laughs> You've got to think of DNA and ancestry and things like that. That's why certain people do better on certain foods. How many eye floaters do you have? I would say 25, but I need to get a big bright white wall and I need to do a proper count, but I'll say 25. The worst being the left one. The left eye has a lot more. So I have six transparent, one big black dot, that sort of seven, and then the rest are sort of strands. They're all little strands and like cobwebs and that sort of to the side of my vision. But over time, I don't know if any of you have found this, over time, the black strands and the black flows should go grey. Your sort of black flows should start to go grey and sort of thin out more. I know, Mike, I know it sounds crazy, but I don't see them all the time. It doesn't annoy me all the time. Like in this low light now, I'm only seeing a few of them. But when it's, if I look at a blue sky, I see all the transparent ones. If it's really bright, white walls, white backgrounds, then yeah, it's it, it's crazy. <laughs> but you've got to stay positive. You know, stressing, worrying never changes the outcome. I've always been a very, very positive person. Obviously, I overthink things and sometimes worry things, but you've got to keep moving forward, you know. Hey, Naomi, how is it going? How is the project going? When is the VDM YouTube channel coming up? Two good questions. Number one, the VDM project is going good, very good. And when is the YouTube channel coming up? I'm not sure yet. Hopefully tomorrow or the day after, we need to have a little discussion about that. And we don't know who's running it yet. You know, we don't know who's running it yet. Um, I don't mind running it, but I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to just say, right, I'm running it. You know, there's a lot of people on the team. I've got this channel, I'll be running this channel, but I don't mind um, doing another channel. We might have a few hosts and that, but that's all to come. I will keep everyone updated. Even uh, <laughs> you should run it. <laughs> I know. I, I... <laughs> oh, dear. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> you have experience. I know, I know. But I don't want to be too much. You know, I, have, you know, I, do, I do a lot. I do a lot, but I leave the experts. You know, there's experts on there. The VDM project is a, you know, we've got about seven, eight members that have a lot more um, degrees and, you know, university and web web developers and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can all run it. My sort of ideas for it would be that we could all do live streams and we could all upload on it. Like we can all just upload on it. So hopefully that's what happens. But we do want it to be a channel for you as well. That is one thing that's certain. Everyone on here, sufferers, can make videos and then we upload them. So, like, it's going to be the, the, the plan, right? It's going to be amazing. So, you go to the channel, right? And you just see all different people, you know? You've got all different genders, ages, religions, but we all suffer from eye floaters and share our story. That's what the video testimonials do. 
We want to share them. And then we want to have Dr. Jerry Seabag sharing his research. Yes, hopefully it's good. And we want to have playlists. It's going to be a really good organized channel. But this channel's not going anywhere. This channel's here to stay, you know. You know, I'm like loads of videos coming. Loads of videos coming. Yeah, I like how this channel's actually gone, you know. Thanks, thanks to everyone here. It's like a community channel. It's positive, you know. We're also happy each other. Not everyone agrees, but it's, it's all quite um but how many videos have people submitted? Uh it's uh, around about 15, I think. I know it's not a lot. I don't know why. I know it's it's not a lot. I think I don't actually know is it 15. Um I don't know actually if it's 15. I think it's around that. I'm not in control of that part of the website. I will get back to you on that. Naomi, do I have you on Facebook or Instagram? Do I have you on Facebook or Instagram? But tomorrow I'll answer that. I'll answer that. I need to um ask Fabio and then uh Fabio can tell me how many have submitted. I know the other day only four did. I think only four had submitted, but hopefully a lot more have been coming in. It's obvious you are a very good person. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. I try to be, you know, I try to be, you know, we're going through this life. Might as well support each other and how it is. Yeah, so it's just at your eye floaters. And um feel free to message me on there. So it's it's just like it's just literally like that. Oh, but you know if I type that it's probably gonna yeah. First. And I've got a link in the description down under this live video in the description. Click that link, it should go straight to the profile. Right, I better get off here. Probably go to bed soon. It's currently 10 54 pm, nearly 11 pm here. Right, but I just want to say Mike, Naomi, Ross, Giraj, everyone watching this, everyone that has watched this, and everyone that watched on the replay. Thank you so much. I love you all. Uh, tomorrow I'll do another live stream. I will be back on the live stream the day after that. I'm going to do a vlog, breakfast, lunch, dinner, day of life, lots more content, lots more videos to come, and hopefully we can get some more success stories. And I want to help you as best as possible. Hopefully, some supplements will work for some people, and this diet, and you know, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm experimenting. I'm trying things out. See you later. Take care, and yeah. Thank you very much. Love you all. Take care, everyone. Thank you for all your support. Yeah. We've got to do a digital one now, can't we? We can't shake hands. We've got a digital boom like that.